Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Well, I'm starting a new series today called Behind Closed Doors, and I'm, we're still in Halloween time, so I'm using the Wizard's Tarot. And I just did the King and Queen, and now I'm going to do uh, William and Catherine. Now, Behind Closed Doors could be how they really feel about each other, how their marriage really is. And I just did uh, Charles and Camilla. It was quite revealing and uh, somewhat poignant. And now I want to do William and Catherine. And, you know, I this is... I, uh, and it's just everybody wants to know behind closed doors. What do you, you know, what do you talk about? Do you, you know, have... Uh, no makeup days? Do you have like inside secrets? Uh, you know, are you fed up with all, all, all the drama that's going on? Uh, what's going on? What's going on? And because what they present to the world is, uh, is completely different than what's actually going on behind closed doors. So William and Catherine, behind closed doors. What's going on, William and Catherine, behind closed doors? Behind closed doors. Behind closed doors, William and Catherine. When the lights are off, <laughs> when the doors are closed and the cameras are turned off, what's going on? Okay, cards are ready. Oh, interesting cut. Ace of Wands in reverse. Hmm. Four of Cups in reverse. So while well, there's some regrets, and what marriage doesn't have regrets? Page of Swords in reverse. Five of Pentacles upright. And the King of Wands upright. Now, I've done some um, investigation, and it... Uh, 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 William is a Sagittarius rising, which he would be the King of Wands. I've been trying to figure out who this King of Wands is. And Catherine is a Leo rising, which is the Queen of Wands. And uh, so I, I just want to see, like, this King of Wands, in no way am I respect, it, it, saying that there's a King of Wands in their relationship. Now, we do have the Five of Pentacles here. And look how interesting the King of Wands is here and the Ace of Wands. In some respects, in some respects, William is feeling iced out, right? I'm, you know, for if you've ever gone through a serious illness as a couple, passion is the last thing that comes back because there, it's the first thing to go and it's the last thing to come back. And nine times out of ten, it's just because one of them, one of the couple is feeling just they're sick or they're too tired or whatever. But there are some regrets here how with this page of swords in reverse of perhaps some of the words that were said when it came to that. Um, but I could William here is feeling a little bit iced out. I'm just being honest with you, Ace of Cups, here comes the love. So this could just be like, you know, he had to be Prince of Wales, support his dad, uh, drive the kids to school, and they do, um, you know, do other runs. And we've seen Catherine at Lewis's uh, football games. Um, I just think that I'm getting that he just, he's also burnt out in some respects. And it's like, let me sit and catch my damn breath already. Um, I I just, but we have the Ace of Cups here, so I'm really happy to see that. Ten of Swords on top of the Page of Swords. I think they actually hit kind of a rock bottom in their in their marriage, in their behind closed doors. I mean, how close was Catherine to you know full blown? Cancer, I think that, let's see, King of Swords, upright. So I think we see, I see that William in some sense has realized this. And I'm wondering if it almost ruined their relation. Oh, look at that. Clock, the clock agrees with me. 
It, it was a rock bottom in their relationship. Now, we have to remember, they've been married for uh, 13 years, right? 2011, was it? And 12 or 13 years. Um, you know, marriages go through through down times. But what kept them going was the love they had for each other. And also what's awesome about when you hit rock bottom, then you just, you, 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 you can't go any further and you now can bounce back from it. This could also be all the treatments that Catherine had. And this could be her doctor. So maybe William felt a little bit out of control because her doctor was more in control of what's going on. This could be the surgery she had last January, right? this emergency surgery that she had and William feeling iced out, feeling like you have no control over the situation, meaning that you simply don't. Once cancer takes over, nobody has any control. You're counting on doctors and, and different um, medications and perhaps needles and needles of chemo and different surgeries and whatnot. And it's, it's a terrible feeling. And those of you with, with parents, as parents, you know what it feels like when your child is, is extremely ill and you have no control and you can't help them and you can't do anything. And I'm thinking this is what William is feeling, that he felt on the outside that her life was now in the control of doctors, in the hands of doctors. Two of wands upright. Yeah, you know what? I think Catherine could have gone either way. The moon, look at that. We got two and two and the moon. I think that it was worse than what we were told. I mean, you think about how long she's been off, um, how long she wasn't seen in public. I believe there was some illusion of how bad it was, especially with the Ten of Swords here. I think this, this King of Swords was her surgeon uh, who did the original surgery in January. The six of wands in reverse, they aren't out of the woods yet. There's still a lot of stress, but they, uh, what I love is that they still have a lot of love is here. The ace of cups being in love. And I think that behind closed doors, this is still playing a big part on it. And isn't that interesting that William showed up and the doctor showed up, but Catherine hasn't shown up yet. Nine of wands in reverse. They're still battling it, guys. Do not be fooled. Her chemo might be over, but there's still something going on. There's still something going on. The battle is not over. So, um, you know, perhaps they're watching her bloods and whatnot every week. Um, you know, if you know anybody who's gone through major cancer, it's not like one day you walk out of the ward and you're fine. You're constantly being tested and the worry about, you know, has it come back? A lot of cancers, you're not cleared, cured or are in remission till five years. So I think they're still in the thick of it. I still think that there's a lot of stress in the relationship. King of Pentacles in reverse. Um, I think I think uh, Harry may be causing a lot of their stress. Page of Wands in reverse. Queen of Swords. And the three of cups and the seven of wands. Hmm. I'm just sorry, I'm just looking and seeing what this means. I'm thinking here, this three of cups, this page of wands and nine of wands, I'm wondering if this is um, not feeling really supported by, by friends and family. I was really careful how to say that with this queen of swords here. The queen of swords is our dear so Sophie, or it can also be Sarah. So that's why I was kind of 
you know, wondering who it is. And I'm thinking here, the reason I was waiting for a download is the three of cups here is the three of them that had cancer. Charles, well, first, so uh, Sarah announced Charles and then Catherine. And so there might be something here that has kind of bonded them, but this is kind of a confusing here. Why is there kind of the battle continues, this page of wands with with bad news. I'm getting the star. This is the seven of wands. So this is defending your actions, the star. There's my Diana card. And also hope and healing, two of pentacles, the high priestess that almost looks like, or looks like Catherine, doesn't it? Look at that blonde Diana and Catherine and eight of wands in reverse and strength in reverse. Guys, behind closed doors, I think I, I'm not buying that Catherine's over this. I, I'm, I'm really not. There's hope and healing, but we've got the two of pentacles in reverse with the high priestess secrets about the hope and healing and the eight of wands in reverse, meaning like there's, we've got the seven of wands then eight of wands and I've got red flag here. I'm seeing red flag. And I'm wondering if they're, you know, taking the high road and saying, yes, all the treatment is over. And, but behind closed doors, I'm kind of wondering if things aren't moving forward as much as they want. Interesting, again, we still don't have Catherine in here. Um, a strength in reverse. I, I'm getting that they just wish they weren't part of this club. King of Pentacles in reverse, Page of Wands in reverse, Nine of Wands. There's a definitely a stress factor here with Harry. Absolutely, 100%. There's a stress factor here with Harry. And I'm almost wondering in some regards if this is Sarah and then her two daughters and being friends with the king. I wonder if there's some kind of stress going on that what they have told them has been... Um, you know, maybe there's some stress there about we can't be open and honest with them because they'll tell Harry. Maybe they've already told them some things and it was a trap. There's something here, though. Um, I think this is Sarah. She's a Libra. She's a queen of swords. Plus, she's divorced, whereas Sophie's not. So that's why I'm getting more of a Sarah vibe here. Um Especially here because we've got the three who have cancer, uh, you know, a club you don't want to belong to. Also because of the two daughters, the two cousins with William. And then we have Harry here. So I'm thinking that's more. I'm wondering if like they're sitting on some news that we aren't really privy to. There's the devil and king of cups. And we have to remember the devil is also um, Catherine, but it's also my my cancer card. Uh, King of Cups, Six of Cups in reverse, and the Empress in reverse, and the Three of Wands in reverse. Wow, 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 wow. It's interesting that we've got a lot about his mom right now. I don't think his, his I, that might be part of the reason his dad is still away or out of the spotlight. Maybe they don't want to be mentioned at, in the same breath of what William's doing. Um, behind closed doors, there might be a bit of a of, of something there. There might be how many more times are you going to bring up her name kind of thing going on with the Six of Cups in reverse, the Empress in reverse. Because you have to remember... And I've said this many times that if Diana had been living, whether she was married to 
uh, Charles or not, she'd be the empress because she's the next mother of the next monarch. She would be the king's mother, whether she was uh, uh, married to Charles or not. She'd be, be Diana, the king's mother, or the king's mother, or the monarch's mother, or something. And here we have six of cups in reverse. So going back to your childhood, and remember, he's got some flack for mentioning Harry's name, not from um, us, of course. Uh, it was just a natural part of the conversation. Everybody's, oh, it's an olive branch. Well, like, grow up. And then with the Empress here, Six of Cups, and we got the King of Cups here with the devil and the strength. I'm wondering if he caught some flap from his dad. Or I wonder if his dad is, um, you know, that's about enough. <laughs> right? I My parents have been divorced since 1995. And if I bring up my mother's name, um, my dad is like, do you really have to mention her name? Like, <laughs> honestly, sometimes that just never goes away. Although I have read that Charles and Diana were getting along fabulously at the time of her passing, unfortunately. Um, I think there's something here that I think there's something here. Three of wands in reverse. I don't, I honestly don't think they've made huge, huge plans for the future. I honestly don't. It's very telling that William showed up, but Catherine didn't. So behind closed doors, he may be keeping a lot of this from her. And that may be why he's feeling iced out as well and a little bit lonely. Um, he may be keeping some of this from her. Well, that's interesting. All right. Well, thank you for spending this time with me. What do you think of this series? Uh, you know, Behind Closed Doors is uh, interesting tarot reading. That's for sure. We uh, pick up on things that we wouldn't have normally picked up on, like maybe Charles doesn't want uh, too many things coming out about Diana for whatever reason. Uh Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Please take good care. See you online. Bye for now.